what up youtube today's video i want to talk about gene splicing now with gene splicing you know what i'm saying i made videos about this but i really didn't dab and i really didn't dab in depth with the topic you see what i'm saying so i'm just gonna make this a little short topic so you know i'm just gonna touch on a few points about gene splicing now gene splicing is pretty much like cloning Shit, it is cloning, really, if you want to get technical. But uh, gene splicing, this is real. This exists. This is going on right in front of your face. You see what I'm saying? Gene splicing is pretty much, in my opinion, is GMO products. You see what I'm saying? Because the world we live in now, everything is GMO. Not everything, but 95% of everything in this world is GMO. Real shit. It's a shortage on real things. That's just what it is. Weed is GMO. A lot of women is GMO. A lot of men out here are GMO. Uh, a lot of jobs out here are GMO. The air is GMO. You know what I'm saying? The clothes are GMO. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of people out here just GMO. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot of things. Now, the movie Splice. Yes, I'm pretty sure if you haven't seen that movie, go look it up. You know, the, the, with the little alien, that was one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> but real talk, though, the movie Splice, they was telling you, I, don't, I think it came out 2008, some shit like that. Seen the movie about four times. They was telling you that they splicing genes. They take they take a, a certain chromosome or a certain genetic from an alien, take a certain chromosome genetic from a human, mix that shit together in the laboratory, and they can birth some type of creation. I call it abomination because that's not natural. That's not nature. That's not God sent. That's something that the devil would do. See, the devil, he did, he devils and dabs with gene splicing and things of that nature. Now, just like I said, just to touch on a couple topics, see, gene splicing, they doing it. The government is doing that with a lot of fruits and vegetables. They know the conscious community is waking up. They know a lot of people are just waking up in general. And they know that they want to stop your DNA because that's their whole plan is to stop your DNA from upgrading. Because that's what we in the process of DNA upgrade. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And when your DNA upgrades, like I said, you start remembering your past lives, you know, start getting abilities and things of that nature. Some of this stuff may be far fetched to some people. I say go to Disney Channel. You see what I'm saying? Cause like I'm giving you the real truth. And a lot of people starting to see the real truth. You know what I'm saying? But gene splicing is something like with apples. If your apples, oranges, grapes, bananas, pineapples, if they ain't got seeds, it's GMO. That means it has been spliced. Real talk. That means like for Apple, for example. It was a story and, and it wasn't even on the news, but it was a story that was uh, in the media, you know what I'm saying? Like I was telling people, people say Trump bad and all that. He might be a bad person, but he gonna pass some good laws to help people, but those laws not gonna be broadcasted. That's the shit you got to do your research and look for. Real shit. Obama did the same thing. All this stuff, like the homosexuality and all that, they gonna broadcast that type of shit. They gonna broadcast that type of shit because they want you to be distracted. And they want you to look at the negative stuff. But he passed some good laws. Real talk. But you have to look for it. You have to do your research. Real talk. They're not gonna just give you the good stuff. You have to look for it. Now, they it was a story about uh, the government was uh, splicing apples with spider DNA. Real talk. So that means you bite into an apple. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to have no seeds, and that means that that shit might probably look a little bit nasty in the inside. That's because that's an apple mixed with spider DNA, meaning they took some samples from a spider, and they took some samples from an apple, like a real apple, and they tried to do some shit to it, genetically modified, you know, genetically modified organisms, and boom, they grew an apple, but it's not a regular apple. It's like with the, uh, what's it called? Oh, damn. The Snow White. Yeah, Snow White. When that lady had that, the little witch had that perfect looking apple. It looked so red and beautiful, but that was poison. That's pretty much like splicing. You know what I'm saying? And that's what they're doing out here. They're taking, you know, different DNA and different things from different uh, entities and different organisms. And they mix it together. Like, for example, like a lot of this McDonald's and shit out here, this shit is spliced food. You, like, for example, they could take a rat's head do something to it in the laboratory and they could grow it to make it like a potato but really you just eating a fucking spliced potato it's mixed with rat dna and real potato dna real shit so you don't know what you're eating you know what i'm saying so i guess i just want to touch on this topic let you know that a lot of stuff out here gmo like the weed you know what i'm saying a lot of that shit spliced too they could take um cause a lot of a lot of these young people out here be i want my weed with no seeds i want my weed with no seeds <clears throat> 
first things first, you stupid idiot. If weed comes from a seed, doesn't it supposed to produce seeds? If an apple comes from a seed, doesn't it supposed to produce seeds? Duh. So if you smoking something that ain't got no seeds, then you smoking some genetically modified weed. Real shit, they can splice the weed with uh they could take some they could take some weed uh chromosomes and they could take a fucking they could take some shit like I'm just giving an example. They could take some shit from a dinosaur or some shit. No, nah, that's too far fetched. They could take some shit from a uh, a cat. You know what I'm saying? Some DNA from a cat, DNA from a weed, and created to weed called a cat piss. And you wonder why you be jumping around and tweaking and shit when you smoke it because you smoking some spliced weed. You understand what I'm saying? So I want to touch on this topic. You gotta remember a lot of this stuff out here. You smoking, eating, drinking, all that shit ain't real. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of gene splicing going on. Real talk. That's where you get a lot of these mutated creatures from. Yeah. They splicing these motherfuckers. They take a, some human DNA. They might want, like, say, for example, a female who got long, beautiful blonde hair. They may want that genetic. So they're going to take that genetic from that girl and they're going to take a genetic from a monster type being and they're going to put it together and boom. Just like the movie Splice. You're going to come up with some ugly ass monstrous, you know what I'm saying, beast, abomination, you know what I'm saying, this shit is real, this is, like Frankenstein, Frankenstein was gene spliced, that's the perfect example of gene splicing, Dr. Jekyll, you know what I'm saying, real talk, so wake the damn up, you know what I'm saying, I just wanted to touch on this topic, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying, this shit is real.